Welcome to the White Dog Garage YouTube channel. My name is Bob and today I'm going to show you how I made this bearing race installer for motorcycle steering heads. Later model motorcycles have tapered roller bearings and a race on the top and a race on the bottom of the uh, cylinder that forms the steering head and the way this works is that an installer like this clamps the race and the two races are drawn together as you do up the nuts on the installer. The video is going to focus on machining one of these installers and then the through shaft and I hope you enjoy. I will make the actual bearing race drivers out of a solid cylinder of aluminium that I have in stock. The workpiece is reasonably round so I will find the centre on one end using a centre square to scribe three diameters. The intersection point of these three diameters is the centre of the piece. First off though, I needed to fit the reverse jaws to the three jaw truck. Good practice is not to let the jaws fall, especially not on the ways. As you wind them out, the one with the most amount above the outside of the chuck will be first out. Unfortunately, I picked the wrong one. In a three jaw chuck, there is a scroll that rotates to draw the jaws in. The scroll's entry point must be aligned with the slot for each jaw to drop into in turn. The jaws are numbered 1, 2, 3 and are introduced in that sequence, lining the scroll entry point up for each one as you go. As the workpiece is reasonably round, my initial approach was to set it up in the lathe with one end in the three jaw chuck with the other end rotating in a fixed steady rest and then centre drilling the end to take a live centre. Best laid plans of mice and men and machinists I guess. It didn't work out mainly because my steady rest is meant for diameters up to about 75 millimetres or 3 inches and try as I might to adjust it out a bit more in the end I had to realise the blank was just too big for the steady rest. However, there is more than one way to skin a cat and I took the blank across to the bench mill, set up a jig to hold it perpendicular to the table and centre drilled it. Back at the lathe, I mounted the workpiece in the three jaw chuck and proceeded to machine the last 100 millimetres or about 4 inches down to 65 millimetres or about 2.6 inches in diameter. Here I am using carbide inserts and removing 4 mm or 160 thousandths at a time. Whilst the heavy cuts are a fast way to reduce the diameter of the piece, the spiral of swarf that is produced is a nuisance. Once I had reduced the diameter to about 65 millimetres or 2.6 inches in diameter, I mounted the workpiece in the bandsaw and cut the machined end off.
Back at the lathe with a much easier piece to work with, I chuck it up with the live centre at the drilled end. I then turn the last 20mm or 800 thou down to a diameter of 60mm or about 2.4 inches and face the end. Then I set the tool holder square with the body of the compound slide and set the compound slide itself to an angle of 13 degrees to the lathe X or centre axis using the angle dial. I set the protractor head of my combination set at 13 degrees and then use this to confirm the compound slide angle to the workpiece is correct. With the angle set I then hand feed the compound slide to cut the bevel on the bearing race installer. I take successive cuts using the compound slide to form the bevel edge of the installer. The diameter at the top of the bevel needs to be 50 millimeters or 1.97 inches. The critical fit points is that the top of the race seats on the rim of the race installer and the bevel face contacts the inside of the race. The bevel can extend past the bottom of the installer if need be. As I approach the final dimensions I do regular test fits with the loose bearing race. Final spring cut on the face, bevel and rim surfaces completes the body of the race installer. The next step is to drill a hole through the centre for the draw bolt. The draw bolt is 12mm or 470 thou in diameter and the hole is drilled at 13mm or 510 thou. The race installer is then parted off from the blank, always a stressful process when you make a cut this big. And finally, the first installer is done. The way the bearing installer works is that a shaft runs between the two race installers and in this case I'm using threaded rod but essentially it's so that you can draw the two race installers together pushing the races into the steering head. However, you need to stop the rod from turning and to do this, I'm going to square the end. I have set the threaded rod up in a 5C square collet block on the bench mill. I'm removing 2mm or a sixteenth of an inch from each side to give an 8mm or 5 sixteenths of an inch dimension across the flats. 
The square end can then be held with the spanner to hold the rod whilst the bearing race and stallers are done up. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did I would welcome a thumbs up and please share it amongst your friends. If you haven't already subscribed I would also welcome your subscription and if you do don't forget to ding the bell down below so that you are reminded every time a new video comes out. Once again thank you for watching.